Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia from Mayer. I make videos about many different topics and one of them is food deliveries. So today I thought it would be interesting to compare Instacart to Corner Shop by Uber. Both apps basically do the same thing, just grocery deliveries but they look very different from the shopper's point of view. I thought it would be interesting to see how different they are. So today we're gonna go step by step from start to finish. I'm gonna show you everything, how to take an order, what to do when you find an item, what to do when you have produce or meat, how to deliver the food, literally everything. <laughs> I just want you to see how different they are so you can pick the one you like the most if you want to do food deliveries. And if you want to make some extra cash, make sure you sign up to do Corner Shop with the link that I'm going to leave in the description section. And I'm also going to leave it in the comment section. If you sign up with that link and you do 50 orders in the first 50 days of signing up, I'm going to send you $200 via PayPal. You just got to message me on Instagram when you finish the 50 orders and I'll send it to you. All right, let's get started. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with Corner Shop by Uber. When you're ready to start shopping, all you have to do is press the little car and slide to connect. What I like about them is that you don't need to have the app open to get an order. When you're assigned an order, they're going to send you a notification. And when you open the app, you can either accept it or decline it. But you have a couple minutes to even think about it. You'll see how different it is with Instacart. But yeah, it shows you what store you're going to. And if you click in the little information icon at the top right corner, you get to see more information about the order. You get to see how far away you are from the store, how far away the customer is from the store. You can also see their postal code, but you can't see exactly where they are. It shows you how many products you're going to pick and how many items, but it doesn't tell you what they are, which can definitely be annoying because you don't really know what you're going to be getting. But it also shows you an estimated weight. So you can see how heavy it's gonna be like the other day i got an order that was four products and it was like 10 items but the weight was like 75 kilos and i got a little bit nervous but i knew i could do it so <laughs> i just ended up taking it anyways and it was like six cases of water and like two other things but yeah definitely keep an eye on the weight and make sure you can handle it because that could be bad <laughs> then you can also see if the customer left any instructions it can be like where they want the food to be delivered or literally anything. So they're going to leave it there. With Instacart, you don't see it until the end, which is a little bit inconvenient because sometimes it's stuff that they want you to know while you're shopping, but you don't get to see it until the end. So it's really good that they do the instructions at the beginning over here. Ooh, something that I really like about Corner Shop is that they assign a person to you, like a person that works with Corner Shop. It's called an SOM. I'm not sure what it stands for, but they are there to assist you throughout the whole thing. So if you have any questions, if you have any problems, you can just talk to them and they'll help you. I've talked to my SOMs a couple times and they usually reply super fast and they're super helpful. So I definitely love that about Corner Shop. Instacart doesn't have that. You're basically on your own. If you have any problems, you can contact support, I guess, but it's not the same. Like this person is here to help you. And I really appreciate that. And then you can also see the customer and you can start talking to them if you need to. But yeah, to accept the order, you just press done, which sends you back to like the main screen where you can see which store you're gonna shop at. And all you gotta do is slide to accept and you're ready to go shopping. But if you don't wanna take it, all you have to do is press the three dots and just reject the order. All right, now let's see what that looks like with Instacart. When you're ready to go shopping, all you have to do is go online. You literally just press the button, go online, <laughs> and you start getting orders or batches. That's what they call it. Now, this is the thing with Instacart. They don't really assign an order to each one of their drivers. They kind of just post them and you kind of have to fight other people to take one, <laughs> which can definitely be good because you get more options and you can decide which one you want to take. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying because you don't get enough time to look through all the information they give you because if you take too long, somebody else could take it and just like that, it's gone. If you do have time to look at the information they show you, you can see how much money Instacart is going to pay you and how much money the customer is giving you as a tip. But just so you know, the customer has a couple of days to change their tip. So 
this number doesn't mean much because they can change it at any point so don't get fooled by that <laughs> usually people leave it the same but sometimes they do change it so be careful with that <laughs> i mean there's no way you can be careful about that it kind of if it happens it happens if not good i don't know <laughs> but yeah you also get to see how many items and how many units you're going to be shopping for the distance that you see right here under the items that's a distance from the store to the customer it's not for the whole thing and then you also get little pictures of everything you're going to be getting which i love corner shop should definitely do something like this because it's very helpful you get to see exactly what you're going to be getting so you can see how easy or or how hard the order is going to be especially once you get used to the layout of the store and you know where everything is you're like yeah i know where this is i know where this is <laughs> and it just it's just so easy so if you decide that you do want to take that order all you have to do is slide to accept and you're ready to go shopping if you don't want to take the order, that's fine. All you have to do is press the little arrow at the top left corner and it'll send you back to the main page where all the orders are. There's another thing that I like about Instacart is that you can see all the orders. You can look at them and everything and you don't feel any pressure to take any of them. With Corner Shop, if they send you one and you reject it, there's like a rejection percentage or something or rate that you get that I'm not 100% sure if it affects your account at all but either way seeing that number I don't know mine's not so good because sometimes I don't want to take every single order and that's fine like we shouldn't feel pressured to take any of them so I like the way Instacart does it better but yeah now that you know how to take an order from each app let's go shopping <laughs> all right let's do a corner shop order first uh, so when you're arriving at the store, you have to swipe the little card to the right and that's where you're going to see some information about the order again, like any instructions you need to follow, the address of the store, the amount of products and the items you're getting, and that total amount you see there is how much those items are going to cost. If you have any instructions, you have to click on them and mark them as red because you're not going to be able to start shopping until you do that. Once you're ready to go, just slide the little card at the bottom and now you can finally see the products you're going to be getting. Here you can see a picture of the item, its price, its name, the weight of it, and the quantity you're picking. On this page, you can also add an item that's not on the list. Sometimes customers ask you to add things because they don't know how to do it from their end. So you can either scan the item or add it manually if the app is not reading the barcode. Okay, now we're ready to start scanning items. I'm in the breakfast aisle, so I'm going to find the cereal boxes that I see on my list. And I'm going to start with the Cheerios. So I'm going to click on them and the same information I can see in the other screen comes up again like the name of it, the weight, the quantity, and the price. And if you want to enlarge the picture to see more details, you just have to tap on it and it'll get bigger. If the item is available, press the found it button at the bottom right corner and just scan the barcode of the product with your phone. Sometimes it does it so quickly that it doesn't get all the numbers, so just press scan code and you'll be able to scan the barcode again. If you didn't scan the right item, a little message will pop up letting you know that it's wrong. But if it is the right one, it will send you to the screen where you can put in the quantity you're grabbing. And as you can see, it reminds you how many you're supposed to get in these two places right here. So just press the plus button as many times as you need to get the same quantity the customer wants. Once you press OK, you'll get this screen right here where you're supposed to confirm that the price on the app matches the actual price at the store. If it's the same, just press done. If it's different, you can delete it and add the right price. And if the item is on sale, like two for four dollars, and you are grabbing two boxes, you can press I have the total sum and put four dollars there. And that's how you scan a regular item with Corner Shop. When you go back to the main screen, you can see that the items you have already scanned have moved to the done list, and the ones you still need to pick are in the pending list. I do want to add that sometimes, even if the item has a barcode, the app might not ask you to scan it. Just put in the quantity and confirm the price. So please pay extra attention to these items and like triple check you're getting the right one because the app won't tell you that it's wrong. 
If you're not sure and you want to ask your customer, here's how you talk to them. Press the information button at the top right corner and under contacts, you can find your SOM and your customer. Tap your customer's name and press chat. You can also call them, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless it's absolutely necessary because you don't want to bother them with a small question, you know? And just so you know, you can also send them pictures in this chat by pressing the little camera on the left side of the text. All right, now let's see how you scan an item with Instacart. I love that I can see the shopping list anytime I want. I'm not even at the store yet and I can still take a look at all the items. When you get to the store, you're going to press start shopping. And first, I want to talk about this screen right here. With Instacart, you can shop at any location as long as it's the same store, like they're both Walmart stores. And as long as that store appears on the little map that you see when you first sign into the app, there are many stores you would think that you can shop at, but they don't show up on the map. So don't even waste your time going to those stores because this screen right here won't show up for you and it's just not going to let you shop at all. But yeah, to shop at a different location, just press shop here anyway and you'll see the shopping list. I always say hi to my customers as soon as I start because I want them to know that I'm here for them. And Instacart makes it very easy with their automated messages. And I usually go for the short and sweet message. So I don't bother the customer with a long paragraph, you know? So now let's see how easy it is to scan regular items with Instacart. You just tap the item you want to scan. Here you'll see the name of the product, the quantity you're grabbing, where you can find it in the store. Sometimes that's wrong, but it's usually really helpful. You can also see its weight and its price. If you need to see some details in the picture, you can tap on it and it will enlarge it. You can also message your customers straight from this screen. But yeah, once you find the item, just press found item and you can scan the barcode with your phone and that's it. There's not going to be any extra steps unless you're grabbing more than one. Then all you have to do is confirm that you're grabbing the right quantity. If you need to add an item, you just press add new item at the bottom of the list and you can either add it by scanning the barcode or just add it manually. And if at any point you need to talk to your customer, you can find the chat at the top right corner. You can also send them pictures in the same way you do with Corner Shop by pressing the little camera beside the text. All right, now let's go back to Corner Shop and let me show you what you have to do when you have produce in your list. If the produce is sold by weight, when you click found it, this screen is going to show up. Here you have to put in the quantity and the weight of the item. And it reminds you of the two different spots, the quantity the customer wants. So press the plus button to match the quantity. And for the weight, instead of having to run to the scale to know the exact weight of it, you can press the enter later button and then the leave pending button. And this will allow you to put in the exact weight and price of the item at the end after you have already checked out. It's still gonna let you check out and the item will be moved to the done list. But this right here is what you're gonna have to do at the very end after you have slide to check out and you've picked the credit card you're going to use. We'll talk about that later, but this screen is gonna show up with the items and the extra information. So all you have to do is click on them and put in the exact weight and price that you see on the receipt that you got. And if the price is different from what's on the receipt, just delete it and add the right price. All of that is for the items that are sold by weight. If the item is sold by unit, you don't have to scan it. You just have to match the quantity the customer wants and make sure the price is right. If it's different because it's on sale or something, just delete it and put in the right price. And that's it. That's all you do when you have produce in a corner shop order. With Instacart, when it comes to produce, sometimes you have to scan it like a regular item and other times you have to weigh it. When you press found it, this screen shows up asking you if it's pre-packaged. These bananas aren't, so I press no. And now this screen shows up. With bananas, it's weird because people can choose if they want individual bananas or bunches. If it doesn't say bunches, they mean individual ones and obviously they don't mean four separate bananas. So I grabbed a bunch with four bananas. I feel like I'm making this sound confusing, but what I'm trying to say 
is that sometimes it just says one bunch and the estimated weight so you kind of have to guess how many bananas would add up to that weight and then actually go weight them and make sure the weight of the bunch is close to what they want it. If you're really not sure, you could just message your customer and ask them how many bananas they would want in the bunch. But if they pick bunch, they usually don't really care about the exact quantity. But yeah, you're supposed to always weigh your produce so you can put in an accurate weight. If the produce is sold by units and not weight, you just press found item and you're done. Unless the quantity is more than one, of course. All right, when it comes to meat, it's basically the same for both apps. And to be honest, I've only gotten one corn shop order that had meat in it. So since I haven't been able to film it, we're just going to look at it with the Instacart screen. But all you do is scan it. Sometimes it says that it's not the right item, even though it is. I don't know why they have that issue so often when it comes to meat. So if that happens, just make sure you got the right tray and press skip scanning and mark as item is correct. If it does scan it correctly, this screen is going to come up where you're going to put in the quantity and the weight. If it's more than one tray, that weight that you see there is the total weight the customer wants for all the trays combined. So you're going to have to do a little bit of math here. Usually meat comes prepackaged, so obviously that weight doesn't have to be exact but try to get as close as you can to it or just communicate with your customer what their options are. Now let's talk about replacements and refunds. Yay, the most time consuming thing ever. <laughs> let's do corner shop first. So we already know that if the item is available, you press found it, but if the item is sold out, we're gonna press options. If there's absolutely nothing that item could be replaced with or if the customer left instructions to not replace that item, press offer refund but if you see that they are good replacements similar to the original item you can press add an alternative and scan the replacements you see available you're gonna press add item then add the quantity you're grabbing and check the price i wanted to see if there was a limit to how many alternatives i could add and it doesn't seem like there is so that's good to know but just remember that time is money so don't go too overboard with the replacements because you also don't want to overwhelm your customer with a massive list of replacements like I did. <laughs> but yeah, when you're finished adding alternatives, press the done button. And now that item has been moved to the in review list. And when you're done shopping and you're ready to check out, the app is going to contact your customer to let them know that there's replacements they need to pick. And this is when this app becomes a little bit annoying. The customer has five minutes to start picking their replacements and once they start they have seven more minutes to pick their replacements. So that's 12 minutes of doing nothing for you while your customer is just doing their thing and sometimes they let the timer run out and don't even pick the replacements. That happened to me last week and it was so frustrating. After the time ran out, I called her to remind her that she needed to do that so I could pick the right replacements for her. She said she was going to do it, but she still didn't do it. So annoying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyways, most people are usually pretty quick. And to be honest, I've noticed that having this extra bit of time hasn't been that bad. Just because I always end up wandering around the store and it has really helped me to learn where everything is. So it's not so bad. So once they're done, you're gonna get a notification letting you know that they're finished. But if I remember correctly, the notification doesn't vibrate or make any noise. So just keep an eye on your phone if you're gonna be walking around. But yeah, now you can press each product and see which item they chose as a replacement, which is going to have a selected by customer sign. As you can see, customers can also add their own options. In this case, she added one because she wanted a different quantity than the one I had offered. So I just selected her alternative, scanned the item she wanted, added the quantity she wanted, and checked the price. For this other item, she just wanted a refund, so that one was easy. Now both items have been moved to the done list, and I can check out. Now let's see what that looks like with Instacart. If an item is out of stock, press the can find item button. It'll make you take a picture of nearby items press submit and this screen will show up. Sometimes the customer has already picked the replacement for that item. I freaking love these customers. 
but a lot of time they haven't so you can either message them straight from here select a replacement you think would be appropriate or if you scroll down a bit you can also give them a refund for that item to quickly message your customer you can press the share photo button and it'll show an automatic message with a picture you just took that you can send to them which is one click instead of having to write your own oh unfortunately this item is out of stock please let me know if you see a possible replacement in this picture type of message i freaking love instacart auto messages they are so convenient in this example i had already talked to my customer and asked him if he wanted the same candle but in a bigger size and he said yes so all i had to do was press select the replacement scan the barcode and add the quantity i'm grabbing since these candles are bigger, he only wants two, so that three you see there is referring to the original quantity he wanted. I press confirm and now the item has been moved to the in review list. And that's it, that's how you replace or refund an item with Instacart. Now let's go back to corner shop one more time. Once you're done shopping and you're ready to check out, here's what that's going to look like in the app. Press contact customer with alternatives. Like I mentioned earlier, they're gonna have 12 minutes total to pick the replacements. Then you're going to grab the replacements that you chose and finally slide to checkout. When you sign up to shop with Corner Shop, they are going to send you two cards, a Visa and a MasterCard. In this screen, you'll see which credit card you're going to use to pay. Press next and if you have any produce that is still pending information, you're going to see them in this next screen. At this point, I just put my phone away and focus on bagging everything properly. When you first sign up, you're going to get a bunch of these paper bags with Corner Shop's logo on it. So make sure you use these bags to bag everything. If you're running low on materials like these bags, it's super easy to reorder supplies on their app and they arrive in just a couple of days. Some people might find it annoying that you have to bag everything every time, but I kind of prefer it this way because I know how to bag everything properly, like cold items together, heavy things at the bottom and things like that. So I like it because it gives me full control of my delivery. So I know I'm giving my customers the best customer service I can possibly give them. But yeah, once I've put all the bags in my car, this is when I quickly put in the rest of the information. I need to start the delivery. Like if you have produce, this is when you would put in the exact weight and price you see in the receipt. And when you're done, just press next and now you have to take a picture of the receipt. Just make sure that the entire receipt is in the picture and it's all readable. Press next again and now you're going to put in the subtotal, total and the receipt reference number. Press next again, select which car you used and press finish. Add the amount of bags you used and just so you know it won't let you continue until you add at least one. Now slide to finish and you can see how your order has moved from pickings to deliveries. So tap on it to start the delivery and press ready to go. Here you'll see a preview of where you're going to deliver it. Slide when beginning ride and now you can pick one of these three apps to use as GPS. Drive to your customer's address and make sure you check the instruction section just in case they want you to leave their groceries in a specific spot or if they give you a buzzer number or something. Drop them off and just like to complete. And you're done. Yay! <laughs> now let's check out and complete the Instacart order. When you're done shopping, press review changes and go to checkout. Over here, you can see the list of items you should have in your shopping cart. This is very useful if you have a batch with multiple orders, but that's a completely different video. If you want to see how both apps compare against each other when shopping for a multi-order delivery, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know you want to see that and I'll definitely deliver. But yeah, now you're going to press start checkout. And if you add the MasterCard they gave you to your Apple Pay, all you have to do is tell the cashier you're paying with credit and use the Instacart credit card. A lot of people ask me if I pay for everything and then Instacart reimburses me, but no. They give you your own card when you sign up. Oh my God, imagine? Like, hell no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, press done and then next. You used to be able to start the delivery at this point, but now they're making you take a picture of the receipt like Corner Shop does, so that's new. So you're gonna press enter info 
take a picture of the receipt then put in how many bags you got and press next confirm you're keeping the receipt with you and you're not going to put in one of the bags and now you can finally start the delivery i swear instacart just changes their app and makes new updates every single month <laughs> It is great that they're always trying to improve them. Anyways, in this screen, you can press navigate to get directions with Google Maps. You can also look at the shopping list. You can call or message your customer. You can see their address and any delivery instructions they may have left for you. When you get there, press confirm arrival. And sometimes you have to meet the customer, but most of the time people just want you to leave their groceries at the door and just take a picture of where you left it. But yeah, that's it. It's honestly super easy shopping with these apps. Overall, I think I prefer Corner Shop. They definitely need to improve their app a little bit so we're not spending so much time on our phones, adding so much information. But usually their orders are pretty close to the stores. I think the first one I've seen was like six kilometers away. And the pay is just really good, especially compared to Instacart right now. I don't know if it's where I live, but most Instacart orders are pretty far away and the pay is not fair for the amount of work we're doing. It used to be so good, but not anymore. Plus, most of their batches have multiple orders in them and now they're making you shop at different stores for different customers. Uh, yeah, no. Not for the pay you're offering Instacart. No thanks. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really wanna know which app you think is better. So leave a comment down below, let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this type of videos, also let me know because I can definitely make more. If you wanna hang out again, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.